and welcome back. A little while ago I made a video where I explored what I thought was the preferred or the optimum travel kit and we're about to set off on an extended overseas trip so now's the chance to put all of this into practice. I've weighed all my gear, packed it in the camera bag, I know that it fits within that seven kilo weight limit but one problem I didn't think about at the time was that I want to take a drone with me and that's another 1.4 kilos. So I now have to decide, do I take the drone with me with my carry-on luggage or do I put it in the checked luggage or do I put some other item in the checked luggage? We'll have to work that out and hopefully the next video you'll see, subject to internet availability where we're going, will be some videos exploring our experiences with the kit on our travels. So keep watching and hopefully there'll be a video to follow this. Hello and greetings from Fort William in Scotland. Well, we've made it all the way from Australia without any hassles. There were no problems with the checked in luggage, even though when I put my drone in the carry-on bag, it was a bit overweight. There was no issues with that, so we're all fine. And so we're just over a week into our trip and today is forecast to be an extreme weather day with heavy rain and it's due to start any minute. So we're having a day indoors. So firstly, let's do a little bit of a catch up. We've tried out most of our equipment. I haven't yet used the long lens, but I expect to use that when we get a little bit further afield. One thing I have been testing is a series of um, magnetic filters that just make it a lot easier to change your filters on your lenses. And that's generally worked really well, except that when you're putting your camera in and out of your camera bag, and if you have a filter on, sometimes the filter gets snagged and comes off. So you just have to be a bit careful with that. But overall, that's been a really good experience. So far, the weather's been variable to say the least. We've had a lot of rain, wind, and it's been pretty cold, down to five or six degrees at times. Uh, but we've managed to make some photographs. So we'll have a look at some photos now and we'll do a further update a little bit further along the way.